you guys doing? I'm Randall. This is JJ from GotTrain.com. In this video, we're going to go over the defense against a round kick to the ribs using the covering defense. I want to address the problem that students commonly make, which is to flare their elbow out, exposing the ribs. So I'm going to show you guys some drills to address this so that you're less likely to make this mistake. Okay, first let me explain what I'm talking about here. Most people, when they do the round kicks coming out of the ribs, they have a tendency to stick their elbow out like this because they know they want to cover and block with the elbow. But the problem is when you do this, there's a gap here and it leaves you exposed. Now, let me, let me demonstrate with JJ. Now, if I happen to catch him just right at the right spot, that's awesome. It's gonna, especially if he ends up hitting with his foot or his toes, it's gonna cause a lot of damage. The issue is if my elbow's a little off and I stick my elbow out, he's gonna slide up and under that, boom, I'm gonna get my ribs caved in with his shin. That's horrible. So the key is not moving your arm. The key is to just take your elbow, glue it to your ribs, and your torso does all the movement. So if you're one of these students that has, even though I tell the students, you know, not to flare their elbow out, still half the students have trouble with this. So here's some progressive drills you can implement to force you to do it correctly. So here's the first drill is, when you take your elbow, glue it to your ribs, and just do this little side crunch. Not only does it help you keep the elbow tight and keep your hands up, but it contracts your ribs, makes a small target. So if you do miss, it's not gonna cause as much injury. And then what you do is when you get to this crunch position and glue your elbow to your ribs, you don't even move. So this is the first drill. So I'm gonna get to this preset position I'm literally not going to move, and I'm going to force myself to hold my ground in this position while JJ kicks. Good. So that would be the first drill to force you to do it correctly. The second thing now is, once you glue your elbow to your ribs, the arm doesn't move. Look, now I'm just side crunching. That's all I'm going to do now. So I'm going to stand tall like this, and I'm just going to do this little side crunch and let the kick come to me. Good. And then the last micro adjustment you make is, depending on where the kick's going to land, if it's going to land more in the front, I'll rotate my body forward just a little bit so now my elbow's covering the front. If it's wrapping around a little bit on my back, I'll twist a little bit, but notice that the elbow never comes or comes off my body. All the movement is based off how I'm leaning and moving with my torso, so that'll be the next adjustment. But notice how my arm's showing up movement, it's all on my torso. Good. So those are three progressive drills that you can implement if you're one of the students who's having trouble not keeping their elbow tucked in. Go to the preset crunch position, tuck your elbow in, and just stay there and let your partner just wail away on you. Once you master that, then add the side crunch. Once you master that, have your partner mix up the target slightly, front of the ribs, side of the ribs, back of the ribs, and then you need to make these little adjustments. Notice how my shoulder turns forward a little bit to cover the front. Maybe I pull it back a little bit to cover the back side a little bit. So if you implement these three drills, I think you'll be more successful about keeping the elbow glued to the ribs, which is vital, and it helps you keep your hands up. So if you haven't tried these three drills yet, do so. And I think you'll have a lot more success with this defense. All right, guys, thanks as always for watching.